Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As always, I hope you guys are having a great day today. But in today's video, I'm going to be making and rating viral TikTok car customization videos. And this is actually part 5 to this series. You guys showed lots of support on my last parts. Also, if you guys want to check out any of my older parts to this series, make sure you guys check the links down below in the description. I'll have them all linked right there. But now that we got all that out the way, let's get straight into today's video. So now into this first TikTok, looks like he's showing us how to make a tutorial for a drift car, so we're going to be following it. Now this looks like it was the Fudo, and the Fudo runs for right around five to $9,000. Now this guy's from definitely from a different country than me, because take a look at the letters and all the words, it's for, for sure in a different country than me, but I'm still going to be trying my best to follow what he told us. So here we go, like I said, it was the Fudo, so you're pretty sure you find the Fudo here in Southern San Andreas. Click so by price, because it is very cheap, and yep, I was right, it's $9,000. But you guys can actually get this car for free. I'm pretty sure I can get it for free, but obviously I don't want to waste that much time. Might as well just buy it. It's only 9,000. So right here, I just bought it. Now we're actually going to be getting in it. Take a look. This is how it looks like before I actually take it in. So it looks like a pretty standard car, but this car actually is very underrated. I actually like this car when it comes to drift. So this guy was right when it comes to this car being good for drifting. So here I go right now. I'm putting the exact upgrades that he told us to put. Now I know, like I said, he was in a different country than me, so I couldn't really understand what it was. But it was very simple to make his car. I took a screenshot of the car, put exactly what he put, and I will be showing you guys how it looks like here in a second. Obviously, I'm speeding up the gameplay right now because I don't want you guys to like go through like two minutes of me upgrading this car. I'm pretty sure it's like two minutes every time I was upgrading one of these cars. But here we go right here. Here's how it looked right here when I finished it completely. So take a look. This is what his car was. Honestly, I'd give this like an 8 out of 10. It's actually pretty cool. It looks like a street racing car. That's why I like it. Honestly, I like street racing cars. Looks pretty cool. Now we're actually going to be taking it outside and let's see how it looks like outside. Now the Fudo, when I barely started GT, I remember I drove this a lot because it was free and I thought it was cool driving this car. Then obviously I got into more expensive cars. But yeah, this car's pretty cool. Like I said, I'd rate this car like an 8 out of 10 solid. Now let's go to the next one. Now for this TikTok, I honestly don't know the name of this car, but I'll end up finding it here in a second when I go to Southern San Andreas. But right here you can see, obviously I'm speeding it up. He's showing us all the upgrades to put on the car, and then he shows us how it looks like at the end. I'm pretty sure I'm not honestly positive on. I guess I'll see right now when when it like plays. But yeah, okay, this is how it looks. It looks kind of weird. I don't know. I guess we're gonna be buying it right now. So the car that he was talking about is called the Dinka Blista Conjo, and there we go. We're about to buy it. It's like 500,000. Not too cheap, but you know, not too expensive either. So here we go. Just bought it. Looks like a. I don't even know what this car is called in real life. It looks like I don't even know. But right here we got in the car. We're going to take it into the workshop and let's put the exact customizations that he told us to put. Now he went through a lot of customizations for this car. And honestly, when I saw the end result of the TikTok, I was like, can't believe I'm making this. But you know, I got to throw them all in here. So right here I'm making the exact upgrades that he told us to put. Now the livery is the worst. Like, oh my God, this guy has to be little or something, man. Like, what kind of livery is this bro like and I, I mean i guess if you're into anime you'll like this type of car i don't know but it still looks pretty weird i think even if you're in anime into anime like you probably won't even like this car but i guess this is how the car ended up looking i'd give this like a three out of like a three out of ten man like literally a three out of ten this car is honestly trash this car is horrible bro i'm sorry if he's watching this video yeah you gotta you gotta do better bro this this is honestly a horrible car three out of ten let me know what you guys think about this car down below in the comment section. This car is honestly trash. Let's go on to the next one and the next TikTok for the car customization build. Now, I guess we're going to be recreating Frank Ocean's E30. If you guys do not know who Frank Ocean is, he's actually a very famous person and he is a singer. Now, he actually is playing on the radios of GTA 5 Online. You guys probably heard one of his songs on GTA 5 if you guys are playing and the radio turns on. But yeah, right now we're going to be recreating it. Honestly, it looks pretty cool. Right now, we're going to go ahead and buy the car that he told us to buy, which is going to be the Ubermock Sentinel Classic. Now, it's right here, 650k. We're going to buy it right here in my arena workshop. And this car honestly doesn't look too bad, even stock. So hopefully, it ends up looking cool. Like I said, it did look pretty cool when he showed us what to put on it. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and get in it. That's how it looks like before. Pretty standard, pretty basic. Right now, we're going to take it into the arena workshop, and we're going to put all the exact upgrades that he told us to put on the car. So right now, I'm speeding it up, obviously, because you guys don't want to go through the whole two minutes of me upgrading this car. But yeah, this car honestly was pretty cool to upgrade. I don't think I've actually ever owned this car as a personal car, but I guess right now I'm going to own it right now when I actually finish upgrading this. This car looks pretty cool. I'm not sure if it's exactly like his car. I don't know how Frank Ocean's car looks exactly, but if it does look like this, he has a pretty cool car in real life too. So right here, I just finished upgrading the car. Now I'm going to show you guys how it looks like right here when I'm done. Now take a look, this car looks pretty fire. Honestly, I'd give this car a solid 9 out of 10 for looks. It looks pretty simple, but it's also very clean. Let me know what you guys think about this car down below in the comment section, but I honestly like this car. Like I said, 9 out of 10 for this car. It's pretty simple, and I like the rims, and the, the choice of the rims honestly is very cool. I never put chrome rims on a car, but I think chrome rims on this car looks very nice. And the simple color, I think it could use a little pearlescent or even a better color, but overall, it's pretty good. Now let's go on to the next car on this list. 
Now next card on this list is going to be a Benny's card it looks like and he's showing us how to make it right here. It looks like it's the Vapuccino, right? Yeah, the Vapuccino. And I don't really use, I don't know how I'm feeling about this card so far. I'm kind of skeptical. I'm going to have to make it either way, but yeah, this card is not, you could tell a little kid made this. But here we go. We're buying the Vapuccino, $225,000. We're going to just drop down the drain and make this crap card. But here we go. Just bought it, $225,000. Order it into my arena workshop because that's obviously where I'm at. And here we go. Just got it in my arena workshop. Now right here, we're going to get inside of it. Let's put the exact upgrades that he told us to put in the video. And let's end up seeing how it'll look. Now something in me just told me when I was upgrading this car that this car is just not going to be good no matter what because just the upgrades that this guy chose on the car was just honestly horrible but right now I'm putting the upgrades on that he told us to put but it's all these upgrades that I was putting on the car I was just like oh my god it's just getting worse and worse but yeah I guess to maybe a normal brand new player to GTA 5 online this is probably very cool to them but it's not really cool to me and I don't know if you guys can agree with me but yeah I don't, I don't really like this car I'd give this car like a 5 out of 10 maybe even less yeah 5 out of 10 I'll be nice 5 out of 10 Let's go to the next TikTok. This guy's showing us how to make, okay, let's see, it looks like a green car. I don't know whose car this is. How to get Brian's Mitsubishi Eclipse in GTA, okay. Now, I don't know who that is. Let me know in the comment section who that is. Please don't grill me, I, I, I don't know. I don't really watch too much stuff, but he's showing us how to make it right here. That was a very fast tutorial, dang, I didn't even have to skip it. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this is the Penumbra, is what it's called in GTA, yeah, right here. Here it is, Southern San Andreas, the Penumbra. It's $24,000, but I'm pretty sure you can also find this one on the street as well. So you guys can get it for free if you guys ended up wanting to make the car that I'm making here. So there we go, just bought it. Now I'll be with you guys when I have it in my arena. All right, here we go, just got it in my arena. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hop inside of it. It looks pretty simple, just like, you know, very simple car. Let's take it into the actual workshop and let's upgrade this thing put the exact upgrades that he told us to put on the car now he literally only put like six, six upgrades on the car and the livery is the main thing that really makes the car like look kind of cool now this car is not that crazy i mean it's all right honestly i wouldn't give it that high of a score when i was making it it was like uh, it kind of feels like a little kid's car but i guess right now we're gonna see how it looks like once i take it out finished so right here this is how it ended up looking doesn't look too bad definitely better than the lowrider i give this like a six out of ten just one more better than the lowrider the lowrider is pretty horrible this is not that bad it's all right but yeah that basically wraps things up for this video we did make and rate five different tiktok car customization builds that we saw on tiktok and i tried to pick the coolest ones that i could see obviously there are lots of them so i will be making more future videos on this topic if you guys show lots of support on this video but like i always say make sure you guys are subscribed turn on those post notifications and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out